and despite good fights and a lot of creators sacrificing a lot of time, uh, money, and energy, uh, we lost $250,000 at the event. The way that this typically works for anyone who's uh, unaware is that once our expenses... Sup gamers, critical thinkers, and maybe not so critical thinkers. Sup everybody, I'm Daddy Gato here with a fresh vid for y'all. Man, how the mighty have fallen, huh? All right, before we get started, I just wanted to say, hey, if you're enjoying this channel or you're new here, please hit me, you know, hit me up with a sub, baby. You know, hit that like button so we get this video out to more people. I really appreciate it. So, apparently, Creator Clash wasn't a success, at least the second one. Um, he's out 250k, and I think there's a lot of reasons to it, but, you know, we'll, we'll listen to iDubbbz and see what he says. But, I mean, I used to, I used to be a big fan of this guy, man, but he's... He's definitely changed, man. All the minimums of like, you know, broadcasting, the hotel, travel, all that sort of stuff. Once that's all paid off, then we can start paying uh, the charities. Unfortunately, we didn't even reach the break even point, right? We're $250,000 in the red. I foolishly thought that the success of last year would, should be a minimum you know, a minimum for what we are able to do this year. And that wasn't true. There was a lot more to think about. I thought, yeah, you, okay, you know. I want to know who you hired for, like, your promotions and the managers. Like, I mean, from what I hear, uh, his wife was involved in a lot of that. And let's be honest, I don't think she's the smartest person in the tool shed. I mean, have you seen some of her freaking TikToks? Yeah, I just think that this one was too much for him to handle. There was too much stuff going on, and he put the wrong people in the wrong places. But there's, but there's all much, there's a lot more to it than that too, though. But we'll let him talk a little bit more. We're we're bringing on more talent. We're bringing on more creators that should translate to more pay-per-view buys. We're inviting more creator guests. I think that should translate to more pay-per-view buys. This is our second time doing the oh. event, so more people are going to know about it. So I thought that would translate to pay-per-view buys. But we did And here's another thing too. And a lot of people in his comments said this, which I think was a big factor too is he didn't really promote this one as much as he did the first one, at least not towards when the event was going to be aired like he let the he let the sam hide and the froggy fresh shit fuck it all up like he was scared to come on and make videos that, to promote it <laughs> because he was getting fucking ratioed and and, he, and, and well deserved too what he did to froggy fresh and freaking sam hide was ridiculous like it's pretty much ruining his fucking career half as well as we did the first year 50,000 compared to 100,000 the first year. So I it was wrong and I feel a lot of shame because a lot of people were trusting me and trusting our team to, you know. Ah, it just looks like he's on the verge of a mental breakdown. I used to like Idubs a long time ago, back when he was, you know, he was on the up and up and around the Leafy times. And I was actually a really big fan of Leafy. I mean, you can hate me. Call me an edge lord or whatever. I, I liked Leafy a lot, and even when he made the video on Leafy, I still liked iDubs because I enjoyed his content. But he pretty much pulled an H three H three, and fucking shunned his own his own audience that got him to where he's at. You know, because he was, in my opinion, he's scared that he was going to get canceled or whatever. Da da da. So he had to he had to change for this new culture war. You know, for the you know, and it, it he became a cuck. I mean, look at him. Like, he let that succubus just fuck him all up. No. Protect the event and protect the charities and protect just the whole thing. It feels particularly bad because this isn't like a regular business where it's all a personal loss and I can just be like, oh, okay, I suck at business and I walk away from Apparently it. Apparently do. All the other fighters were, you know, hoping that their charities got represented and got supported for all their hard work. But we didn't have any anti-piracy measures. We weren't prepared to deal with 
uh, what ended up happening. Measures. I mean, I was... For- Is he really going to blame it on piracy, the, the reason it failed? Or he didn't meet his quota? Come on, boy. For me, I was just thinking, like, let's just avoid catastrophe. As long as there's, like, not, like, um, I don't know, like a bomb threat or, like, injuries or anything crazy, like, we should be fine. Uh, another factor, too, from what I've been reading in the comments from other people, is most of the people on the card were, no one even knew about it. Like, this one guy said in the comments, he was like, I am an avid YouTube watcher. I, You know what I mean? I watch tons of the, you know, the popular people. And I didn't know anybody you had on the roster besides Froggy Fresh that you kicked off. I mean, come on, man. This should just be like the first year. I don't want it to be more complicated than the first year. Uh, It ended up being a lot more complicated. Streamer audience, that's who we are appealing to. I really like the live stream audience. You know, people who want to watch these events live. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I... Did they not live stream this? Like, and have like a donation thing set up? Like a goal? Like, if not, y'all are idiots. Like, please tell me that's not, you know, y'all could tell me in the comments. Uh, like, God. And they watch things on Twitch and YouTube and they get it all for free generally. So I think it was uh, in a lot of ways bad to appeal to that crowd and not give away the stream for free. Uh, I think a lot of them felt like, well... That's what you should have done. Like, you should have live-streamed it for free. You know what I mean? Like, and had a donation set up. You you would have got donations. You know what I think, though? I think after all the Froggy Fresh shit and the Sam Hyde shit, you thought you'd get ratioed, so you didn't do it. <laughs> you tried to be greedy and, and put it on pay-per-view. Like, you're a YouTuber, bro. <laughs> this should be something that's free. Uh, yes. Especially if you have ads in it. Aside from the pirating, we did have higher expenses this year. It was a bigger arena. We went to the Amelie Arena, so it was twice as big. We paid more for broadcasting. So broadcasting team did a lot more elaborate shit, and there was a lot more staff involved. We did a creator hotel. So we bought out a hotel to make sure all the creators had a, you know, a safe place that they can stay. It actually ended up being good that we got the Creator Hotel because all the hotels shot up in price uh, like a couple weeks after we locked in the Creator Hotel because Taylor Swift was coming to town. She announced her tour dates <laughs> and pretty much everything got booked up. If we didn't book the Creator so Hotel, your timing was bad as well. we would have had nearly as many creators show up to show support. And our, our pay-per-view numbers actually could have been hurt by that. We also had events uh, the day before the fight and the day after the fight so that, you know, fighters and friends and family could come together and uh, process their trauma. That was sort process. of paramount for what? me because the first year we did the so fight. So you're telling me you had you rented out the stadium for three days instead of one night like you should have and it cost you a fucking dick ton of money. So you're a little boxers could <laughs> and their families could air out their grievances like come on dude and i was like that was cool that was so worth it i i there was nothing there was no processing my trauma there was no talking to anyone my and trauma? relating about the experience who, who talks like that processing my trauma you were boxing bro there's not trauma i mean trauma to your head i guess but you know if if you if you didn't have the ball, I see. I also, this is this what this is what leads me to believe that his wife pressured him into boxing. You could have ran the whole event. You didn't need to box, bro. Like, anyways. It's afterward. Everyone was gone, and that shit felt awful. So yeah, some of these things that might seem extraneous, uh, in my opinion, were entirely necessary, and I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, I also. I mean, as evidenced by the uh, by the pay-per-view streams, uh, it wouldn't have made a difference uh, because we did half as many pay-per-view sales. So, yeah, because yeah. you lost people wanting to watch the event when you did all that shady shit to fucking goddamn Froggy Fresh. Like, when it comes to business, you have to put your feelings aside. Sure, there's certain things that you're not gonna let slide or, or whatever, but Froggy Fresh didn't do anything. Okay. He made a joke about your wife's OnlyFans, which you're okay with, right? 
So it shouldn't have been any deal there. But what she, he admitted it was because he was training with Sam Hyde. Which, dude, you got to get over that, bro. Like, Sam Hyde got you. You you tried to get him, but he got you because he's a smarter motherfucker than you. 100% smarter than you. You should have just, you should have just laughed it off, man. And you and Sam Hyde could have been fucking friends. Y'all could have been making big bucks together. Now, now look at you. You're going to be, now he's going to beg y'all because he's going to live stream it for free and ask y'all to donate, which, yeah, let's get to that. We are putting the full Creator Clash broadcast, Creator Clash 2 broadcast on YouTube for free for everyone to watch and uh, just hoping and praying that people enjoy it and want to support it. I'm okay with us fucking up and taking a 250. Here's the, here's. Here's another thing too. I think Idubs and or not Idubs, sorry. Um, Froggy Fresh already challenged them to another fight. Challenge challenged Idubs to a fight. Like, hey, we'll we'll get all the money you need for charity. Let's put another fight. And I don't think he's responded yet. I could be wrong, but yeah, there you go, man. Fifty thousand dollar loss. I'm not okay with charities not getting any money. It was dumb of me yeah. to say that we weren't gonna make the broadcast available for free, uh, like we yes. did the previous year. I thought that that would bring in more pay per view buys because well, see, be there's like, your greed, oh, I'm not bro. Be able to watch it for free, well, because he he was planning to make money off this. I guarantee you he was, and it just all backfired in his face, and he didn't even get the money for the charities. Oh, I'll definitely uh, buy so I can tune in, but I I don't know. It either didn't have an effect or it backfired, and I'm trying to learn from it. This year, I have a lot on my plate. And, you know, I think my strategy going forward is to just be, uh, you know, completely candid with everything. Here's an idea, bro. You want to make things better? Do another boxing event. Get Sam Hyde. Get Froggy Fresh. And have them fight somebody. You know, make it. Make everybody seem that you've gotten over it and you're not a little fucking kid and make some fucking real fucking money, dude. Okay? And to be fucking completely honest with you, you're rich. So, like, you know, like, pull it out of your own fucking pocket and pay the charities. Because I know you have it, man. I know you fucking have it. You know? So, yeah, like, fuck iDubs, man. I mean, you reap what you fucking sow. You know, you shouldn't have done that shady shit. You shouldn't have acted like a little pussy fucking SJW, man. Like, you should have just been a fucking man. But you let your little fucking wife, and I'm pretty sure she's a big reason in all this. But I could be wrong. He might just be a fucking real pussy in real life. And lets his wife control him. <laughs> but yeah, that's my take, man. But, you know, Idubs is, is fallen, bro. He's, he's fucking fallen. He's a fucking cuck. Alright guys, I'm out. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a like and hit that sub button, baby. Peace out.